Warning. The following program may contain foul fucking language, gory ass shit, or the occasional slow point because I can be a lazy fuck with editing. Viewer discretion is potentially advised, but also probably rejected. Greetings from the land of OP, I am Rob the OP Gamer, and we are bringing you episode number two of our first ever Agrarian Skies run. Xavier's mad because I rejected his hammer. You sour, bro? I'm sour. What did the hammer ever do to you? It has one damage on it. Is it not good enough? It is not. I want a brand new hammer. I don't want your, your shitty cast-offs. So guys, the hammer is part of the Ex Nihilo mod, and the uh, quest that we're going to be working on and completing here in a second is this guy right here, I think. Yep. So you get a cobblestone, you get a gravel. How do you get gravel, Xavier? You smash cobblestone. Aha! And what does the gravel do for you? When you smash the gravel, you get sand. And what does the sand do for you? Dust. Alright, I just wanted to show it off on camera. There you go. You can go back to what you were doing. We have rewards to claim. Hooray. I'm going to pick the middle reward bag, or the leftmost reward bag, which is the middle option. Then I'll get the rightmost. There's your dust and your gravel and your sand and all that kind of stuff. Add another cobblestone. I'm just gonna place it down, you can mess with it. Our base is gonna look awesome at this rate. Lattice Heath? What the fuck is a Lattice Heath? Uh... I don't know. Uh... You sprayed wood. Oh god. How could you? I'm sorry, I couldn't keep my wood in check. Obviously! You got a little excited there, bro. Calm down. It's okay, it's just a lattice heath. It's cool. <laughs> oh, it's a butterfly. Oh, it is. So I got a half a heart, and I'm gonna take those other two pieces of heart, and we're gonna combine them and make a uh, full heart for life. Sounds like a plan. Unless you really see a point to holding on to it. And even if you do, too bad, I just made it! That's a slab furnace, guys? Nope. No real point. It functions just like a regular furnace, except for it's a slab furnace. I'll show you guys how to make that really quick if you are interested. Slab furnace. There you go. Eight, eight cobblestone slabs make a slab furnace, which is made out of three cobblestone. I think the slab furnaces should be able to stack in one block, so you'd have two furnaces in one of one block space, but they don't stack, do they? That's sour. They should. Sour. Nope. They should. That would be cool. Alright, so this episode, I think, what are we doing? We're dedicating this episode pretty much to getting our cobble gen going. And then making a monster trap. Yeah, cobble gen. Yep. Cool, so this episode probably won't have a whole ton of complete, uh, completed stuff. But, uh... There'll be some completed stuff. And Xavier made a watering can, and we got a carrot farm going on up here. I'll make a watering can myself at some point, but it functions like bone meal, except for it doesn't waste the bone meal. So we got some uh, carrots and some crops going up here, with some sugar cane for paper and whatnot. And Xavier assaulted me with a stack of carrot juice, but I'm still working on eating some silkworm, so, you know, that's a thing. Pick a misfortune, I should probably stick that in a chest somewhere. We made some more barrels. Uh, did we do anything else in the meantime? I don't think we did anything else, did we? That's pretty much it. Alright, so uh, we're just going to go ahead and start working on that stuff. Smashing this dust and these sand gets you bits of broken ores and things like that. So, uh, that's where you get this iron gravel ore here. That's my backup plan in case uh, we never get rain. Get iron gravel ore and such so we can make a iron bucket. Ah. Well, 
smashing those... Oh, you sieve them, excuse me. You don't smash them, you sieve them to get broken ores and shit. Hey, do you have a gravel up there or something I can see really quick just to show people? I do. Give me. Whoa now. So you sieve it just like you sieve dirt? You can sieve basically most anything, but look at all the broken ore. We got a, uh... We got a flint, and we got a piece of coal, and we got a broken copper, it looks like. There you go, Xavier, have at it. Uh, four broken ore of any kind makes that type of ore. So four broken iron will make an iron gravel ore. And the same thing, from sand you get crushed, and then from dust you get pulverized, but it's all the same kind of ore. And if you make the gravel ore, you can smash it with a hammer into uh, the pulverized version, and you get like 25% boost, kind of. It's not, it's not quite a double, but it's, it's something, so... Anyway, we're going to get to work on that cobble gin, guys. We'll be back. Speaking of demo, man. Ha, rain. Ha, man. You know what we should probably do, is, dude, is we should probably move these barrels so they can catch rain, too. While we have the water. Uh, may as well. Just because, you know, we'll turn into the clay. We'll stock up some clay and then uh, call it good after that. Right? For a little while? Because we'll need some clay for a bit. Oh, yeah. So we'll just stock up some clay and then just put these barrels back for uh, saving dirt. What we're doing, guys, BT Dubs, is uh, Xavier was working his ass off to get us some. Uh... I can't work my keyboard. Uh, Xavier was working his ass off in order to get us a hold of some water, and by water I mean we were trying to get. What do you call, it, dude? My brain is not working. Anymore. Iron. Iron, right. We need water so that we can make clay, so that we can start working on getting lava, so we can have a cobble generator. And in order to do that, we need clay, which we need water, because you put the dust in the water barrel. And the only way to get water is one of two ways. Either you can do the infinite water trick with a bucket, or you can fill these with uh, fill these barrels, like rain barrel style, when it rains. Well, we passed, like, a ton of Minecraft days, and uh, we were not getting rain, which I found ironic as shit, Considering when we very first started this in episode one, a little while ago, like an hour or two ago, when we first started, we loaded it and it was raining like right away. And I was like, fuck. And I was like, that's a bad sign. So now that it's raining, it finally decided to rain again. It never actually rained in the meantime. So Xavier was working his ass off to get iron the entire time we were waiting for the rain. And it was basically a waiting game. It was like, was it going to rain first or was Xavier going to manage to get us a bucket first? And uh, how many broken ore were you away? One iron ore? One, one broken iron ore? One, one uh, iron? Two. Two. I had two. effectively sieved 45 gravel, and I'm still a little bit shy. Yeah, so sieving the gravel, guys, as I showed you like a little while ago, is you get the broken ores, and the broken ores can be cooked into uh, iron. So he was trying to get enough iron in order to fill up his bucket. Actually, I'll show that in any eye really quick. Let's see if I can pull it up really quick. Um, gravel. Whoops. I pasted. Gravel, iron, there we go, whoop, gravel, okay, so iron gravel ore, if we, hit re if we hit recipe really quick, maybe not, I thought you said it was an NEI, dude. It should be. Oh, that's Tinker's Construct I'm looking at, whoops. Do to do, ex nihilo, aluminum, where's the iron, there it is. So if you hit recipe, you can see that you get the broken iron ore. If you hit recipe there, you can see that you use a hammer on an iron ore will get you broken ores. Or, if you see, it says right here, ex nihilo sieve. That's the table we were using on there. Just right-clicking the sieve. And gravel, and it shows you broken iron ore, 20% drop trance. Uh, flint, 25%. Copper, 14%. Each one has a certain percent of stuff, including up to and including diamonds and emeralds, which are 1% apiece. So, he was working on sieving this gravel, which you get by as I showed earlier, using a hammer to break rock. And you break the... So we sieve the dirt, right? We sieve dirt, and we get the stone bits, and then you create stone, place it down, break it, and then you can sieve the... Uh, it'll give you gravel, then you sieve the gravel. And so that's how long it was taking. We, he was he was growing these crops and using the barrels. Dude, do it to it. Don't, don't wait for me. Do it to it. So you can see he's got dust in his hand. And, uh, what he's doing is he's right-clicking the barrel of water, and it's going to turn the dust into clay. So that's the next nihilo, next nihilo way of getting clay. So he'll go through, he'll right-click those out of there, 
and then the buckets, the barrels will fill back up with rain. So what we're going to do is, if you use the hammer, you place down the cobblestone, use the hammer on the cobblestone. Do we have a cobblestone? I'll just show it really quick. I'm pretty sure I already did once, but... Uh, no, we're fresh out. Oh, but I have a stone here really quick that I cooked earlier. We didn't need. I'll just use that. So you, so you place your cobblestone down, you use your hammer, that's going to give you gravel. You place the gravel down, that's going to give you sand. You place the sand down, that's going to give you dust. See, it says green, it says uh, dust right there. And then you can right-click that on the rain barrel, that's going to give you clay. And the clay is going to be what we're going to use to get lava going here shortly, but I think we're going to stop up. You want to take a few minutes to stock up, dude? Stock up on clay? Yeah. No, I'm going straight for cobble gen. We have tons of clay now. Okay, where'd you put it? Clay is in the table. Table. You're standing on it. Oh, I just placed this on accident. I had a little bit of latency. Ah, clay! So, what happens, guys, now is you get clay. You get three clay and it makes you a clay bucket. Can I cook this for them to show them? Yep. And then we're going to come over here. Oh, you put the sticks in there and everything. You are, like, right ahead of me. I see what we're doing. I'm anxious to get a couple, Jen. Oh, I see. <laughs> Alright, so we fire the clay. We get a clay bucket. And this clay bucket can pick up lava once, and then it gets destroyed. Can it pick up water? Yep. Without, without getting destroyed? Without getting destroyed. Sweet! So we got some extra water, we got some extra rain. Things are good and happy and f fantastic. Um, now we need to make... What's the thing called? The cobble gen? There we go. Uh, crucible. So we make an unfired crucible, which is made out of seven porcelain clay, which is one bill one clay. So we need seven. I need three more clay. Yep. Alright, I got five on me. Gimme. Just put it in the crafting Gimme. station. So there's the porcelain. And then we're going to do one of these guys. And that's going to give us an unfire crucible. Then we're going to come over here to our furnace. And we're going to put the sticks in there, and we're going to cook that bitch. We are cooking the fox out of an unfire crucible right now. Ha, ah, crucible. Now we have a crucible. Yes. Guess what? It's your favorite thing. Here you go. I'll let you put it down. You can have Woohoo. Now we need four cobblestone. Can we turn these back in? No. Oh, sad. Well, here's a stone. There's one. So, we gotta see some dirt? Yep. Alright. We're gonna see some dirt, guys. We'll be back in a second. What is it with you always asking me for my wood? Uh... Woodmeister? I think you should hang your head and shave Or again. wood miser. <laughs> miser? Hmm. I guess I'll give you wood, Nahoma. Thank you, Nahoma. <laughs> yeah. Alright guys, so here's how this works out. Xavier has put this torch beneath this crucible. And you melt cobblestone into lava with this crucible. Apparently that's how it works. I don't know how you get lava out of uh, torching a cobblestone. That doesn't seem like it would do much to me, but you put four of them in there. What was that? There we go. I didn't register that last one for a second. And this will slowly, slowly over time convert the cobblestone into lava as the heat melts it into magma. And apparently uh, Wayla has been updated so that if we're looking at this, we can actually see it. Crucible. This is fluid lava, 35, 36, 38 millibuckets. Solid cobblestone left, 9,000 odd, or 900 odd. It's over 900! Speed 0 0.1 millibuckets per tick. You can increase that speed by using something besides a torch. If you put fire, 
which is the best one, or another block of lava underneath of it, which is the middle tier, because you can do torch or lava. There's, that's that's only three options, right? They didn't change that, Xavier? There's a few more, but I think fire is still the best regardless. Okay. Well, basically we have to now wait for fucking ever for this to convert into a full bucket of lava. Once it does, we can take this clay bucket that we made, and we can pick it up, and we can drop it over here. And this is Xavier's little cobblestone gen. I'm assuming you made two holes in there because we're both be so that we can both be in there at the same time, right? That's why you did that that way. Pretty much co-op uh, playthrough, co-op cobble gen. That's right. All the things co-op forever. We're gonna stand these nice little um, alcove nooks that Xavier made us. He put crafting tables here because they can't be picked very quick with a pick. And the idea is the lava is gonna, lava is gonna go right here on top of these brown stained clay blocks, and they will flow to the left and the right. And it will intersect the water, which will never move because it's going down one, as you can see there. And we have Cobble Gen City. And eventually, we could probably just replace these uh, green stained clay underneath with uh, uh, block breakers, right? Yeah. And, uh... Oh wait, maybe not block breakers, because... Or train smashers. I don't think you can point them up and down. I seem to remember that being a thing. Or they don't point uh, down anymore. We can replace them with something. We don't, do we have open blocks? I think we do. We do have open blocks. They have a, they have a block breaker and open blocks, don't they? Yeah. There's a myriad of things we could use. Oh, I just typed in block breaker and there's only one from Minecraft, from uh, Mine Factory loaded. Which we could use that one too, probably. Yeah. That one might take power, though. Yeah, well, by then we'll... Or we'll probably, instead of using bl uh, block breakers or train smashers or whatever, we could instead just make, uh, igneous. Because that's the thing. Yep. Honestly, I don't really sit at a manual cobble gen much anymore with an igneous extruder just around the corner. I make maybe, like, four to six stacks of cobble, and then I usually have enough materials to make the igneous. Yep. So we're going to get on that, guys, and then as soon as we're done with that, we're probably going to start working on a, on a, lob, on a uh, monster trap. I'm going to check the time in the video really quick, and we'll get this cobble gin going. We'll see where we're at. All right, guys, we just got our last little bit of lava here, so I'm going to pick this up with this bucket that's instantly going to die. Well, not instantly. As soon as I place the lava, it'll stay in your inventory forever, I'm pretty sure. But, uh, yeah, as soon as we place down the bucket, goes away. Bam, lava. Oh, shit! Well, <laughs> well, this is amusing. Ah, terrible. That was so much badness. I can't even believe how badness that was. Is my shit bouncing around? Because I saw it bouncing around. Yeah. I think I saved a stack of logs. Why aren't those dying? That's weird. Yeah. I wonder if I can fly in there and get him. Hey. Whew. Well, at least I got my tools. Okay, so... Yeah. I'm gonna uh, fly back and put this potion back in the spawn point, because I don't want to take up all the potions from the spawn point, in case we need them to fix ourselves like that. Like fly back, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> that was terrible. Well, if you saved one stack of vlogs, at least we got some wood. Did you... I need to make a new watering can, though, apparently. Yeah. Well, that's alright. We have a cobble gen now. Yeah. It only took one of our fucking lives because I'm a fucking moron, but hey! That's the story of our playthrough, though, with you and me. I do all the stupid shit and die all the time. It's all for theatrics, though, right? You're supposed to shout at me and call me. It wouldn't be there. amusing. GG. GG. So here's how the cobble gen works, guys. Just like this. And uh, it would probably would have been more awesome if I hadn't died. But hey, if you guys found that to be massive nerd fail, obviously let me know in the comments below. And if you don't think it was a nerd fail, you're a retard. But hey. <laughs> Maybe not a retard, but, you know, it could have happened to anybody. Don't say that, though, because it couldn't have, because it didn't happen to Xavier, did it? Mm, nope. Nope, nope, nope.
nope, nope, nope. <laughs> so we're going to generate some cobble for a while, and uh, I'm probably not going to help with the cobble for a few minutes. I'm probably going to go work on getting my uh, food and everything going back again. I'll be back, guys. I just wanted to show everybody that if we want to get access to that hole up there, but, like, avoid the whole part or just happen to me, we should have done something like this. Oh, you covered it up already, didn't you? Well, I'm going to do this. I can yep. break this off of here, and we'll put one of these on there. Then you can walk over it, but still reach in there if you want to use a bucket to get something out of there. I can walk over it now. You've seen me do this before, Xavier. You know what I did. Oh, uh, yeah. Now we can get a bucket out of there if we need to. Safely. <laughs> <laughs> what? You got a bucket worth of lava using your face. Oh yeah, better than getting a bucket using my face, you said? Yep. <laughs> Alright guys, so this is all the shit you get from Steven Gravel! Uh, I got two, co two stacks of cobblestone, which is totally neither here nor there. We were going to work on the mob trap in a minute. But this is the shit you get from Seeving Gravel. As you can see, I got after five stacks of gravel. I basically just used a stone hammer and I did the cobble gen, so I was instantly getting gravel instead of cobblestone by using the hammer over there. And basically what you do is you get this shit here. Uh, we can see I got 64 stacks of broken iron, so I'll just go with that. You put them together, you get iron ore. And basically you're going to take this guy, and you do this with every single one of these. So you can see I got 16 gravel iron. Now we're going to go here, and we're going to smash that, and we're going to smash that, and you see that I'm getting a little more than four back of the crushed uh, iron ore. So we place that down, we smash that, and if you recall, we had a stack of the broken iron ore, and as you can see, we are already over a stack of the crushed iron ore. I got a stack and 13, so not quite... Not quite uh, an extra 25%, but hey, it's pretty close. And then we can take that stuff and we can make the broken sand. So we went from 16 uh, iron gravel to, to 19 sand. And we can do this again. And you can do it up to twice. So now we're getting pulverized. See that? Just about there. So look, we're already over stack. We have five left and we're already over stack. So let's get that in here, get that in here, and we'll get that. And now we got 23. And this stuff we can combine into the sand ore, and this can be cooked. See, 21 now. So from 16 to 21, and this stuff can be cooked straight in the furnace. Xavier's working on making a smeltery, though, so we're going to double up. This will then double, so you can now double this in the smeltery for 42 iron ore. How close are you to having a working smeltery, BT Dubs, bro? Uh, we could probably build one now. Because I just made 21 iron dust ore by smashing all that shit. Nice. Seems like it might be a little bit of a waste to, uh... to, uh... not double it now, after I went all that effort. <laughs> yeah. Well, here's a bunch of the seared bricks. That should be more than enough. Okay. Well, we're going to work on getting some of this going, guys. We'll be back again. Alright, guys. So we're just finishing up some smeltery business here. we got a casting table right there. And we got a basin right here. And, alright, I should have completed the uh, smelting quest. Yep. Sweet. Should we pick this uh, peach or slime sapling? Probably the slime sapling. I think that might be useful. Yeah. Should we both grab one of those, or should one of us get something else? Let me check the rewards real quick. Okay. Yeah, slimy sapling. Both of us. Okay. I'll stick in this chest for you here. We got some bricks going on now, so I'm gonna take these bad boys over here. And I made a few pieces of glass, and I got a few more bricks cooking up over here. I'm thinking just right over here, right like right on the side over here. What do you think? Sure, we can do that. Since this is sort of the generalized work area, anyways. Yeah, that works. 
Yeah. Let's do it over here. So we're just going to do like a 3x3 uh, three three right in here and thinking. Or I could just build it off the edge. That'd be kind of weird though. What did I do with that as a cobblestone? Did I stick that cobblestone somewhere? Alright guys, so I'm going to set up a smeltery and we'll be back one more time. This is the most brilliant shit ever. Do it again. That is the most brilliant shit. I made a bucket, by the way, for this purpose, but this is even way more awesome. I can't even believe how epic this is. You can attach a crucible, a fossil straight to the crucible, and just pour it into your smeltery tank. That is fucking epic. Where did you learn this? Did you just randomly think about it? Yeah, since we can hook up pipes, why couldn't we hook up faucets? Oh, that is some epic shit. I can't even believe how epic that is. You win all the cookies, sir. Oh my god, that is so much beauty. I can't even believe how epic that is. Wow. What do you have to say for yourself? GG! GG! <laughs> ah, god, that is... That is epic! I can't even believe how epic that is. Damn. Okay, so... Basically what's gonna happen next... So here's the, here's the plan, guys. We're gonna do this. Um, I need to make an ingot of some kind. Where's aluminum? So, aluminum's gonna be... One aluminum... It's three aluminum and one copper, right? For aluminum brass? Yeah. So we're gonna get some aluminum brass going. I didn't even. I never even thought about using a brick for your uh, your ingot recipe. That's that's pretty clever right there. It's basically a clay ingot. Yeah, I see. I've never thought about that. That's just the thing. It totally works though. So this is basically the equivalent of putting in one ore of three ore in this thing. So it's gonna melt up. We'll get aluminum brass. And then I've got a little bit of glass, and then we're gonna make an igneous. And hopefully the barrel doesn't crash us again. When I was messing around with barrels earlier, I didn't get it to crash, just pulling things out and having something automatically shove it in. Huh? Like having the igneous dump into a barrel. I never right-clicked on it to deposit things. Right-clicked on the barrel to deposit things. So how did you get it in the barrel then? The igneous put it in there. It just output. I put the barrel on top of the igneous. Well, yeah, I know, but that's... Yeah, anyway. <laughs> igneous! Igneous! There we go. So we're gonna need two what? glass, a piston, two tin. Okay, so I need two more tin. Or two tin, period. There's two tin right there. Uh, piston, that's gonna be another redstone. Sweet. So let me melt up some stuff, guys. We'll be back with the Nignius. And that would be another reward right there. It's going to give us a full guard cast. Woohoo. And an enchanted boat. Liquid slime bucket. Oh my god, that would be... We need liquid... Liquid slime buckets will give us infinite slimes, right? Slime balls? Yep. The blue slimes. So we should both take that? Heck yeah. Hot. I don't know what the fuck we want this boat for. Alright. It's for sailing. Through the air. Straight into the void. Sailing, sailing. <laughs> well, at least we, we would be able to ponder our situation the entire way down. Yeah. Maybe play 20 questions. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to do this, and we're going to melt up some iron next, and some gold. So we'll be back again, guys. Alrighty, so we just finished up making up these ingots here. Are you excited, Xavier? Oh, yes. Alrighty, so we're going to get that one. Oh, shit. Nope, first we're going to get one of these, and one of these... And one less of those, and one of these, and one of these, and there's a piston. Doink. 
Uh, and then we're going to take our piston and two glass. Oh, wait, machine frame first. Derp, de derp, derp. Uh, four glass and four iron. That's going to give us our machine frame. And then we're going to make our servo. It is a servo, right? Yes, it is. So, redstone, redstone, iron, glass. No, what am I doing? Oh, that was, that was fucking fails right there. I think it's... There we go. There's the fucking servo. Now we can recipe and shift click that bitch. Ah, oh, igneous. Doink. Now, through all that hype, we actually weren't quite ready because we were still melting up some lava. But I'm, gonna, I'm just going to snag some lava out of here really quick. Good plan. And we're going to change this and one of these. There we go. And let me get some water. Boink. Now, in one episode, we have gotten cobble gen and then outdated the cobble gen. How do you like that? Sounds about right. <laughs> so we'll just dump into this barrel forever. I like it. You happy? Much happy. Now I can build that monster trap with plenty of cobblestone and not having to pick at it one block at a time. Well, now I'm going to save. And I'm going to try to put my excess cobblestone in here. Ready? We might crash. This might be a thing that happens. Where's my tinfoil hat? Oh, it actually went in there. Look at that. We didn't crash. Or at least not obviously. Can we still do Hooray. stuff? Try to do something. Open a chest. I picked up a block and replaced it, so I guess we're good. I don't know, it was weird. We had a barrel up there and it was crashing and I don't get it. So, well, there we go. Barrel of cobblestone, sir. Yes. Now we can use our old cobble gen over here for just insta-smashing into gravel. What do you think of that? That sounds like a great plan. Fantastic. Well, uh, I'm going to check the time of this bitch. We'll be back one more time. I've said one more time like ten times. Oh, well. All right, for this, uh, for this wrap-up, I'm going to post halfway between my igneous and the smeltery. Xavier's just going to hang out right next to the smeltery. You got any final words, any parting bits of wisdom, Xavier? Nope, not this time. Not this time? Fantastic. Well, uh, we promised you guys a mob trap. Um, I'm sure Xavier will get something going here shortly, though. He's been planning things over there. So, uh, next episode, we'll probably do some more recording uh, tomorrow night after I get back from work, I'm hoping. So, I hope everybody had no be time. Make sure to like, favorite, follow, subscribe, YouTube, Facebook, Twitch, and Twitter, slash RobTheOPGamer. Peace!